So this short video is just to recap some of the ideas behind factories and closures. Closures are a really important feature in JavaScript that allow us to maintain references to variables after um, a function has been declared. So in this code example that I have right here, I've got a function called series. And inside that, it is returning another function. Now, typically, if you were to do declare a variable inside here, so this is equal to some value, after the function series runs, I would no longer have access to this variable. So that's really what we're doing here. We're passing a variable into, or a value into this variable series name, running this function, and then at some point in the future, I want to use that value. So if you look inside the function that I'm returning here, you can see that the variable series name is being used here inside this output. So what I want to do is I want to be able to pass that into this function and hang on to it for use later on. This is what a closure is. So at the point where this function series runs. All of this code is able to view all the variables that are created at the time when this function runs. That includes this variable series name, which means down inside here, this function being returned by series has a link back to whatever the value of this was. So when I run series and I pass it in the string Star Wars, the string Star Wars is being passed in and it's replacing this variable right here. So there's a, a link to that point in time. Now I have this variable which is the return from series and that's this anonymous function right here. So I can call new Star Wars as if, as if I were calling this function and this variable inside here is going to refer back to whatever value series name had at the point where it was called. So at the point where I ran series and I passed in this string, I'm creating this function and this function is my anonymous one that has Star Wars inside there. So if I were to call my new Star Wars function and I pass in the Force Awakens, There we go. You can see over in the side here, a new part has been added to Star Wars called The Force Awakens. So there is Star Wars, and new movie is The Force Awakens. And we can do this again and again. Effectively, what we've done with is we've turned this into a factory that is creating a method that we can use again and again and again. So far, new Harry Potter. So now we've created two functions, one called new Star Wars, one called new Harry Potter. We can call either one of these again and again, and they will contain the original value. You can see both of them were created by me calling the function series. There it is. So it ran as well. And I can call new Star Wars again. This function, as many times as I call it, is going to have a reference back to Star Wars that was used when it was created. There we go. So that's the idea behind a cl closure, as well as the idea behind a, f a factory. A factory gives us a method that we can call again and again and again from other places in our code.